Hello, uh, Aline Lazar, and welcome uh, to this interview. Thank you also very much to Erev Max and Ray Tiger to be promoting our uh, our event on the 12th of October. Uh, you're going to be a gold uh, sponsor and you're going to be speaking in uh, two panels in Stockholm. So I thought maybe it would be high time to see, okay, how can, what are your thoughts on uh, three questions I would have for you? But maybe you would like to say something to the people watching this as well. Oh, hi, everyone. Hi, Anne-Marie. Um, thank you for giving us the opportunity to be part of this event. Um, and yeah, it's actually the first event I will attend um, after the uh, COVID started. So I really look forward to, to meeting you and, and everyone uh, from the industry. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it will be for most of the people, also for the attendees. And it actually, it feels so positive. Finally, we go back to normal again. Please. Back to reality, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was wondering, actually, um, you at IREF Max, you have very good statistics regarding travel industry. Um, and I think maybe what, what trends did you see early in pandemic and how did restrictions affect these trends? So, for instance, many countries went back and forth from restrictions to release of restrictions back to restrictions again. Do you have some good, good examples on how that affected travel um, in, in any way in your statistics? Sure. So, if we look back at Q2 in, in 2020, um lockdowns actually broke all the possible trends like you know there was a massive drop um, in the number of bookings uh, a decrease of almost 80 percent um compared to the previous year and and the entire industry was in shock um you know what can you do back then like you can connect new channels you can run promotions you can hire sales managers like nothing would work if the demand is is actually zero right mm -hmm. so once lockdowns were lifted, that became the foundation of the current trends. And, and um, this is an interesting fact. I was actually looking with one of the top OTAs at, at this data. Um, so in 2019, out of 100 room nights, um, 58 were having promotional prices. And that number in 2021 dropped to 25. So bookers are, are actually avoiding promotions and we think the reason behind is that in most cases promotions are actually non-refundable so bookers are avoiding non-refundable promotions um, and, and if we look at non-refundable rate plans um, again in, in 2019 out of 100 room nights 70 were refundable and that number increased to 96 in, in 2021. Um, so just to wrap my answer up, um, I think the new trends are all about policies. Um, I think revenue management is becoming more agile and, and now um, is focusing on selling the right product with the right policy. Um, I, I think that's what's changing in the current trend. Yeah, I think you might be right. Um, did you also, I don't know if, if you can see that in your statistics, but do you see anything rate-wise? Like, because I mean, yeah, the way you describe it, it was exactly like that. I mean, just pandemic came and what, all of a sudden, everything just like dropped for a lot of hotels, and especially, well, I think in the beginning for every hotel, uh, afterwards, a few hotels actually were, were doing quite well. But you see that there was just like, some hotels were trying to just like keep maintaining the range, some were just like, decreasing immediately i don't really see if you if, if if you see anything that was that an overall thing in the whole of europe or is it like it kind of happened everywhere uh, mainly at the beginning um, but that did not have any positive impact on, on whoever was doing it again because the demand was not existing um so if you have no demand you can throw prices it would it would just not work um yeah, that was probably a time to, to focus on some other stuff, focusing on, on automation, on new technologies they can adopt, um, on, on actually lowering the cost rather than trying to bring demand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be interesting because actually we are now all, also in a, in a new situation, restrictions being released, and it looks like it's going to be long term, fingers crossed. 
Uh, but you see now also um, that that I mean, there's this uncertainty in the market again because yeah, okay, things are being uh, going to happen. There's going to be events being held and so on. It's like okay, what impact is that going to have? It's it's going to be an interesting time now as well. I think definitely. Yeah. Um, now it's no news that. COVID actually changed the whole travel industry. I mean, but it fast forwarded the trends we were already seeing. Uh, so revenue and ADR being pushed from leisure travel, corporates going to different ways, actually the decreasing travel already uh, prior to COVID. Now we are returning to a new normal. Um, how would you say this would affect travel? Uh, will travel travelers go to more secure channels such as travel agencies? You are into the policies. Maybe the, the secure way of travel could also be a trend. Is it then affecting uh, direct bookings? And how do you think the OTAs will react? <laughs> you see, I gave you three questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I strongly believe knowing what to expect is going to be crucial um, and, and more important than ever. And I, I think channels and, and hotels, they should probably focus on three um, main things. Um, reviews, filtration and um, consistency. Um, I think they will play a key role. Um, and and I, I think OTS have a bit of advantage mm -hmm. um, and chains can, can you know, they have the consistency, um, but I think independent hotels should focus on reviews and and um, make to the public say the safe they are um, and, and that they respect the conditions and um, yeah, they follow the, the guidelines uh, when it comes to health. Um, how OTAs are going to react? Well, I think OTAs will slightly stop worrying about rate parity and they will focus a bit more on on police parity again because um bookers are actually looking now to book refundable rates so i i think OTAs will now focus on mainly on police parity i think that's how they're going to react um in in the short term yeah one of the things that we we don't really know that yet you're going to host a panel on the subject so <laughs> I'm, I'm putting you on the spot here because it's also one of these early trends. What we also were thinking is, okay, if if you go into the, the refundable, if you go into policies, actually what, what travelers are looking for is a security, right? They should, they want to be able to cancel, but there's also another insecurity and that is like, okay, what restrictions are going to apply? If I am in a certain country, who's going to help me? come back again who's who knows where i am and and can securely make sure that i come back i think that is also maybe one of the things that the otas might be having against them because okay hey i, I book with one of the two otas and um okay they can't help me but if i book with a travel agency they might um We've all, I mean, that's also the reason why we think we might host a panel on the subject. So it would be interesting to see what, what, what your speakers are going to be saying on sure. the subject. If you can make a wild guess, and I know I'm putting you on the spot here, but if you can make a wild guess, do you think that uh, we are right? Is it, is it, might it be the, 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 the return of the travel agencies? I mean, we've been banning the wholesal wholesalers uh, for, for quite some time, but it might be so that we've, they're, they're, they're coming back again. Um, what would you think about that? Do you do you have an answer? They could be coming back if they figure out the, the insurance um, in mm -hmm. in a very correct way. Because um, of course you you like you want to be first um, secure that if your PCR test is going to be positive, you want to get the money back. That's for mm -hmm. sure. And and then if you go to um, the place you you will um, visit to and you have problems, you want to have an insurance and you want to be able to actually go to the hospital, to the country you're visiting. And, um, and I know some hotels in Spain, um, they were actually offering free of charge health insurance if you were booking through the direct website. So I think insurance will be the next big thing. And, and I think travel agents, OTAs and directly hotels will actually fight in this space um, to offer it as a service. 
Yeah, I think you're right. There might be uh, an extra policy, so like a security policy. Yeah. Now, I think that you were already a little bit into it in the um, your first answer, right? You, you said like, okay, hotels were preparing during that time uh, on the, the first breakdown, actually, when it started to happen, like they started to prepare already for a future. And what I think is now, um, what we see is that um, hotels are trying to find technology. Uh, they see that they have to go um, oh, further with like less people working. Um, they need to be a bit effective. Um, I'm giving it away maybe, but, but then, I mean, what do you think if you, if you, if you would say, okay, um, if you want to be effective or if you want to prepare for the future, that might also be like a good question. What technology do you think that hotels will need to have for that future? Um, so I, I think the foundation of the ecosystem a hotel can have, it's actually starting from, from the PMS or, or CRS. Um, going into the connectivity and, and then plugging um, a revenue management system. Um, I, I think those four could actually be the um, yeah, pillars of, of the whole ecosystem. And, and then they can look at plugging in a guest review um, platform um, for sure, which by the way should be integrated with the website booking engine um, and ideally revenue management system and CRM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Uh, an additional question, I don't know if you, if you if you have an answer to that, but you see a lot of new PMSs coming up, actually you go from more over to cloud-based PMSs and you see actually that they're, they're coming on, right? Uh, so connectivity with that has, has been I mean, it's always been an issue, but it's 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 starting to be an issue that can be solved because the the traditional PMSs, if you say so, they're actually also going into okay, finding it, uh, understanding the the the, the necessity of, of connectivity uh, in in a different way than it did before. At least that's what I think. Uh, I don't know if you if you agree with me or if, if you don't see a change in it. I do see a change. Um some good changes, some bad changes. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I think connectivity, sometimes it, it's misunderstood and it's also considered a commodity. Um, and, and probably that's why everyone now is trying to, to build everything. And, and if I'm a PMS, oh yeah, I'll just build connectivity. Um, or if I'm a channel manager, oh yes, I will just build a PMS. Um, but you cannot do everything good. Like if you go to KFC, you're gonna get chicken wings. You're not gonna get ribs. Um, just focus on what you do best, right? Um, and and if you are a PMS, you should be open to integrate with the top channel managers out in the market. And if you are a channel manager, you should be willing to integrate with the top PMSs, um, or at least with the PMSs your clients are using. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I think you might touch on that point as well. I mean, I think hotels, uh, hoteliers also should just like like focus on anything that they they can do best, um, which is being a hotelier, taking care of the guests. To your point, maybe also uh, you well. made. A Okay, thank you so much for uh, for your time, Aline. It was really nice talking to you. I'm really looking forward to 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 meeting you in Stockholm uh, and hearing you also speak uh, during the event. Uh, it will be very interesting to see and hear what you have to say there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anne Thank you for this interview, and yeah, we'll see you on the 12th. We will. We will. We will. Thank you. Good. Good. Thanks. Yeah.